This your boy DJ Kazi coming at you once again. Welcome to the Dope Cleaner once again. This is a special edition. Being a Christian in real time, this is my host Tamara, aka T, aka she drank tea. She do what she want to do, aka this is not a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a this is this is gonna be a new show that we're gonna try to do often, being a Christian in real time, because sometimes people just need to hear a Christian's point of view and you know, just keep it real. So, you know, but our but our show today is gonna be a uh first edition, first chapter, seasonal friends. We all know about seasonal friends. Seasonal friends come and go, and those that don't understand about seasonal friends, we gonna let y'all know what that means. Yeah. So, uh, one thing about seasonal friends is that you you have certain friends that are that are in your life that come in your life, be your friend. You know, they could be your coworker, or they could be somebody who might go to church with you for a certain amount of time, or just something. And and y'all have that certain kind of bond. But for some reason, when they leave that job or they leave your church or they leave certain, and, and then they, all of a sudden your bonds just stops all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. And people don't be understanding, like, sometimes that's, that's just your friend in that season of the, of the time of, of that, you, that you're going on. And so, I mean, there's been many cases where I have friends at work we, we buddies, we go out, we hang out, and then as soon as they move away, or as soon as I quit, or so whatever, then we don't even talk no more. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> we don't even talk no more. It's life. And it's like, and it's like, man, I'm gonna call them, and it's like it, they don't have that same bond. Yeah. So what you, what you think about it? just because I know that you said that you wrote a blog one time about mm-hmm. seasonal friends? Yeah. What's your input on it? I think that we forget the beauty of seasonal friendships Mm -hmm. because there's always assignments in each friendship that you have. Right. And when we start to focus in on the fact that that person is sometimes not there forever, they're actually just for that specific season, you get to learn what God is trying to teach you in that season from that person. It could be simply you need to learn how to have more patience, to have more grace. It could be simply you need to learn how to discern certain spirits because those people shouldn't be around you. (laughs) It is so vital to have seasonal friendships Uh as well as have those long-lasting friendships at the same time. But I think we do an injustice from seasonal friendships because we look at it and think, well, so-and-so did me wrong. I ain't going to talk to them no more. <laughs> they done hurt my feelings. When really, Who you telling? really, in all reality of it is God's like trying to teach you something in the midst of that one friendship that you had. You well, can what, is that, what is that? What is that? What is he teaching us, though? I mean, is he teaching us? He's teaching, teaching us. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that ain't right for you <laughs> that it could be that or it can teach you that um, a lot of the times we put hope and joy and all, everything in people yeah. instead of understanding that they're there for certain times and certain seasons but God is always there in the midst of that what you tell so I feel like we we need to find the joy in those seasonal friendships mm-hmm. and the joy in the fact that sometimes people just disappear because you don't know what they could have been bringing. I know. And I'm just like, I'm grateful for it. You just go on. <laughs> but you know what's funny, though? You know what's funny, though, when you go back and then you see them on, like, Instagram or Facebook or whatever, social media, and you look at it and you're like, mm. you're like, why I hang out with them? Yes. Or be like, mm, thank you, Lord. Like, they used to what be my is dog. wrong with them? They used to be my dog. Where why did I do that? <laughs> Like, we used to go everywhere. We had, we got history. Now, yeah, now I'm looking at like, his history. His history ain't right. Yeah, you want to explore history right there. You were all up in there just acting a fool. Unnecessary. And I'm mm-hmm. like, where, 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 where we start that? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, 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 I mean, it, it, it happens all the time, but people don't, people don't, don't catch on to it. Yeah. Because I guess they just feel like, oh, so you don't want to talk to me no more? Oh, that's how we going to be? No, it just... Now y'all, y'all just don't hang no more. Because it's, it's, it's been many times that at many of my other jobs I've had, I had friends that, you know, we just bonded. And, it, and, and then it always happens. As soon as we don't work with each other, as soon as we don't, 
to see each other every day. Maybe that's what it is. Because we see each other every day. Every yeah, day. and you get real connected. Probably so. That and then we don't bond it. Now we make we making jokes and and then we, we talk and about. And your feelings hurt when they not there no more. Right. And then they yeah. get fired. You're like, dang. Dang, what am I going to do? That, that, that's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then you gotta realize you still gotta work. Yeah, you, you still, still got like you came that. in there by yourself. You gonna leave I by know. yourself? Like he came in after me. He got fired, but <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> still in toilet paper. But that's, a, that's just a whole other subject. You know, we're not gonna talk about that. But <laughs> but it, I, I mean, but it, but it happens every time, and and even childhood friends, like even in my neighborhood. I mean, there's there's guys I grew up with for 18 years from 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 daycare all the way to high school through college and then as soon as we leave the neighborhood it's like we don't see each other no more yeah and then i see them on facebook and be like oh That's oh they done had their fifth kid <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even married i bless your heart mm, it's okay. i ain't talking about y'all it's okay talk, you know what that baby listen. is a blessing it is a blessing. you know it's a blessing from the lord <laughs> it's a blessing Telling you to sit down. You didn't learn the first five times. I just laughed. <laughs> I just laughed. I just laughed. Call but, folks out. <laughs> no. Yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it, it, it just, I mean, like I said, it, it, like even some of the guys I hung up, I, 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 that I grew up with, I mean, it's it just, we just don't have that bond like we used to. Um, I mean, there's many guys I used to hang out with all the time when I was in college and things like that. Just boom. But, you know who your real friends is yep. when you call on them yep. and they show up when you need them. That's the thing about it. When you call on them and they show up, then you be like, okay, that's what that's one of my real friends. And then you got the other friends that just don't. You just hang out with. You just go to parties with. Right. Or you just go sit down and play games with or just chill with. Those are, those are our seasonal friends. Yeah. Cause they're not gonna be there. They're gonna be there in seasons where you good. Yeah. Cause when we... you struggling, they <laughs> gone. I'm telling you, they just disappear. They disappear. What's your president say? The, the corona disappear like ashes. They disappear like ashes. Corona has disappeared. There's no longer corona. That was deep time. Listen. Seriously. I, if I hear anything about G5. I'm just gonna unfriend you in all in all platforms. <laughs> Don't do it. Dude. Okay, okay. Don't do it. This is my crazy friends. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's, it's it's just it's just that's just the way life is sometimes. And sometimes those those are just lessons that 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 we would that we learn and that we got to build upon. Yeah. Just to be better people because sometimes that bond with them might help me with the, with the next person. Exactly. You know. It and teaches you. Yeah, yeah. A yeah, lot. It teach you. you learn about yourself. Mm-hmm. You learn about what you don't want to deal with, what you're going to deal with. Right. There's been friends that almost died. Oh. Yeah. And then I was in them. <laughs> <laughs> we took it too to deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 that night I almost out of Lord. Oh, Lord. Right then and there. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, but I don't see that person no more. It's a, it's a reason. Mm, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and I mean, so I mean, those are just lessons that I think that that we ought to ought to ought to. Have in mind, yeah. because I think a lot of us don't don't think about it. Like I said, mm-hmm. and uh, we just we just have to just just learn from the lessons, keep going, and just uh, strive to be a better person every day. Because being a excuse me, because being a Christian, people think it's just we gotta follow by these guidelines and stick to it. Boom, 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 boom. It ain't like that all the time because we ain't, ain't perfect. <laughs> it ain't. Who 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 I, who, who lied? <laughs> is what I want to know. Who lied to you? Who, who done told you <laughs> right. that this is what we gotta sit here and do and be perfect? Right. Uh-uh. Cause I'm gonna let so, you know you're gonna fail. Uh-huh. Three thousand times. Exactly. And Three thousand so. foes. Mm-hmm. So, but it's I mean, but we we just have to just just do what we have to do. 
and just can continue to strive to be better people. Yep. I mean, that's that's pretty much all it is. We just got to strive to be better people and just and just grow and just and, and, and not allow allow outside stuff to change our minds. Yes, yeah. your mindset, because, and your heart. Because there's a lot of people out here. They be they be trying to switch us up and try to let us let us know that God ain't real. Shoot, you ain't gonna tell me that. I'm not gonna tell me that at, at, at all. So, um, you know, this this is a great little first little show. Yeah, it was, it was great. I think we got. I think we're trying to build upon something, and hopefully, out out there that y'all have have questions that y'all want to ask, just leave them at the bottom, mm-hmm. and uh, just uh, let us know if y'all like the show, if y'all think it sucked, if y'all say yeah, I needed that. So if it sucked, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just Let keep me scrolling. know. Let me know. No. I like my feelings to be out. Just, just be quiet and pray for us. <laughs> exactly. For it to be better. Cause, cause we're gonna get get better, and then once we get better, we're we're gonna we're gonna do everything that we need to do to just make sure that that we are are teaching. Yep. And that's the main thing. We got to teach. And uh, this is your boy DJ Kazi coming at you one more time. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave comments. This is my girl T. She drank tea, and that's not a real chicken nugget. But that's <laughs> hey, though. No, we're gonna talk about that one day, so you understand that chicken nugget ain't real. But it's anyway. real. <laughs> it's real. Vegan life. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to thank y'all once again for watching us. We're gonna have more to come. Thank you, and peace. Bye. God bless. Black Crook tonight.